The central concept of Apache Airflow is the DAG for our directed acyclic graph. Let's define it. A formal and very accurate definition of what is a DAG is given by Wikipedia. In mathematics and computer science, a directed acyclic graph is a finite directed graph with no directed cycles. That is, it consists of finitely many vertices and edges, with each edge directed from one vertex to another, such that there is no way to start at any vertex V and follow a consistently directed sequence of edges that eventually loops back to V again. Equivalently, a DAG is a directed graph that has a topological ordering, a sequence of the vertices, such that every edge is directed from earlier to later in the sequence. I would understand if you need to pause the video and read many times the definition. But if you want it in a more concise way, a DAG is a finite directed graph that doesn't have any cycles or loops. A cycle is a series of vertices that connect back to each other making a loop. In Apache Airflow, a DAG represents a collection of tasks to run, organized in a way that represents their dependencies and relationships. Its job is to make sure that tasks happen at the right time in the right order with the right handling of any unexpected issues. It ultimately defines a workflow. Each node in a DAG is a task and each age is a dependency. If we take a look at an example of a DAG, we could have this very simple one. Here, each task is represented by a node among A, B, C, D and E, and each age represented by an arrow is a dependency between two tasks. For example, the task D has to run successfully before the task E can run. You can imagine that the task A downloads data, then B sends those data for processing by running a Spark job, then node C monitors this job and so on. So we have seen with this very basic example what is a DAG. Can you guess what is not a DAG looks like? Here is an example. This is not a DAG. Why? Because a DAG cannot have any cycle. The dependency of C to E creates actually an infinite loop. Now, before we start coding, let's review some important properties that Apache Airflow gives you to configure your DAG. As you should know, DAGs are defined in Python files located into the Airflow DAG folder by default DAGs, which is a configurable property in airflow.cfg file. The other properties have to be set during the creation of your DAG, as we're gonna see in the next lecture. So DAG ID serves as a unique identifier of your DAG. It is basically its name. Then the description is the description of your DAG, so you can type whatever you want in it. The start date tells when your DAG should start, and if you set it to today 10 pm, don't forget that your DAG will be triggered after the start date plus the schedule interval. The schedule interval defines how often your DAG runs. Dependent past run the next DAG run if the previous one completed successfully. And finally, default args is a dictionary of variables to be used as constructor keyword parameter when initializing operators. It makes easy to apply a common parameter to many operators without having to type it many times. Maybe it's still abstract to you, but don't worry, you are going to understand everything as it is time to code. Let's do this.